season. Do you know all the ins and outs of wine etiquette? An expert joins us live. 7.42 now on L.A.'s Morning News. Well, tis the season when we gather with family and friends, and sometimes those gatherings include a beverage or two. But there's a sort of etiquette when it comes to bringing wine to a party or buying wine as a gift. I mean, I'm not supposed to pull the cork out with my teeth? No. Oh. Choice. All right. Well, then we have Edgar Porishog. He's a sommelier and owner of 320 Wine Lounge. He joins us live now to teach us what to do and what not to do. All right. Let me ask you a question, uh, Edgar. Thank you for joining us, by the way. You're, you're hosting a dinner party. You know some of the people will bring wine, but you've selected wines to pair with the foods that you're serving. What do you do about the person who brings his or her own wine and then wants to open it? Good morning, everyone. The the real key here is that you've taken the time to design what you're going to cook for the evening. You've taken the time to think about what wines you're going to serve with it. So um, first and foremost should be what your desires are to serve to your guests. And etiquette says that your guests shouldn't open bottles of wine that they brought unless they expressively ask you to do so. Yeah, that should be a gift for the hostess, right, or host. Of course, of course, and we shouldn't take bottles um, thinking that we're going to open them at the party. Now, if you want to go to a party and you know that that person typically doesn't have much of a taste for wine, what I would do is I would call ahead and say, you know, I have this great bottle of wine that I've been looking forward to opening. Can I bring it for Christmas dinner? All right, let me ask you this, uh, Edgar. Uh, our editor, Elaine Perkins, knows wine backwards and forwards. She could write an encyclopedia on it. Yeah. Yeah, but I would never buy her a bottle of wine because I'd feel like I'm the, the dumb guy. I don't know what a good bottle of wine is. It, so you have any suggestions for me? How do I select a bottle? Yeah, it's to rely on experts, to be honest with you. If you go to local family-owned merchants like uh, k Wine Merchants in Hollywood or in Signal Hill, there's one of my favorites called The Wine Country. There are experts there that can give you interesting bottles of wine for very reasonable prices that can uh, impress people that you would consider to be experts. Okay, what are some of the more popular wines this season, or are there some trends that you've seen? Well, I've been seeing um, Spanish wines continue to be in vogue, but in my opinion, the best wines for the season are still going to be bubblies, you know. Uh, Go for go for great sparkling wines because we're in a festive mood. We're there to enjoy our evening and the company of others that surround us. So, my drink of choice um, will often be a rosé champagne. Those are better when I when I come to the party and I want to shake up the bottle first before I open it. Right? <laughs> Actually, you know, shaking the bottle removes carbonation because when you pop the cork, actually, it removes carbonation. So, if you want the bubbles to last longer. You want to remove the cork very slowly and so that the carbonation stays inside the wine for as long as possible. All right. Well, we thank you for joining us. That's Edgar Pouragshog. He's with 320 Wine Lounge. And we're going to be talking to him again next week about champagnes and sparkling wines to bring in the new year. Oh, yeah. Got to know what you're doing there. That's for sure. What was his name, Penny? Edgar Pouragshog. Sure. You write that down? Uh, yeah. How do you spell that? P-O-U-R-E-S-H-A-G-H, poor shot. I was having a sip of wine at the time. Oh. <laughs> Were you? Yes. It's not a hockey name. <laughs> no, we'll get to that later. Okay, what's up, Ted? So we'll okay. sports.